If someone was crazy enough to do this, what would they have to do? Just pick a Keemstar video and flag it? Yeah, if someone, and I'm not saying it would be me, wanted to report his videos, they could hypothetically click on the three dots below his video and report it. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I'm your host, Tom Dark. And today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different. I'm not gonna be telling a story. I'm not gonna be doing a video about one particular person. Instead, I'm gonna be talking about a, a group of people that are basically a, a cancerous growth on the internet that needs to be cleaved because of how terrible they are. <laughs> they really suck. So let's talk about Reddit, in particular the H3 subreddit. Now a lot of you guys, as soon as I say Reddit, will cringe the fuck out and you know, I guess I can't blame you. There was a time in my life when I would hear the word Reddit and instantly just spam soy face and, oh, Reddit is gay, Reddit is cringe, that kind of thing, you know? I, I was definitely like that. Since then, I've kind of come around more to, to using Reddit for research, for videos, or even just seeing smaller communities of people with similar interests to me. You know, I've realized that there is some utility to the website. It's not all bad, it's not all terrible. Um, as much as it feels good to say, you know, Reddit is cringe. <laughs> but today I'm going to be talking about the H3 subreddit, the sub dedicated to Ethan Klein, Ela Klein, their channel, their brand, everything about them. Ethan is someone I've obviously talked about a lot. You guys know who he is. It's not like you're coming to this video unfamiliar with Ethan Klein at all. He's a YouTube personality. He does a bunch of podcasts. He used to kind of be more of a commentary channel. I'd say now he's more of a I don't know, like a personality, lifestyle channel? I, I don't exactly know. He just started a show with Hassan Piker, so that's pretty, uh, special, I guess. My two favorite guys coming together to talk about politics. I mean, what, what could possibly go wrong? But his subreddit in particular is something that people have been bringing to my attention lately. Um, and that's because of the amount of brigading and attempted false flagging going on there. Now, it's important to keep in mind that I didn't just discover this information. This came from Nicholas DiOrio. He made a big thread about it on Twitter that got some attention, but honestly not enough because I think people need to understand just how bad this sub is. Clear, unmoderated, organized brigading on the H3H3 H3 production subreddit. And attached to this thread is evidence, um, and that evidence is screenshot after screenshot of people on the sub with hundreds of upvotes trying to get people that they don't like flagged down. Here we have someone saying, Team is right. If we see harassment, we should report it. Hope the channel he works for doesn't get a strike and a drama alert can grow from it. I wouldn't recommend you do this unless you yourself find harassment in any drama alert or other video. So here they're taking a very tongue-in-cheek approach to trying to gather a bunch of people to mass report an episode of drama alert. They're trying to get the video taken down. Wouldn't it be totally mean if someone reported drama alerts, sexual content, and tagged Susan, all of the SA, rape, pedophilia, violence, deaths, sexual inferences, racist and bigoted memes, and clickbait titles are worthy of being reported. And if enough people were to tag Susan about it, the CEO of YouTube, it would equal one Keemstar tweet. Who would do that though? So here we have again, people openly trying to get Keem reported to YouTube. And for what? Sexual content? Really? That's the hill you want to die on here, you fucking loser? What is wrong with you people? This is actually like, this is actually evil. Imagine you don't like someone and your immediate response instead of trying to talk about them negatively is to try and get them reported so that they can lose their job. You want their videos down, their livelihood gone, their channel deleted. It's just spiteful and sad. And honestly, I think it's a reflection of the kind of people that Ethan is attracting to his channel with the statements that he makes. And it's not like there's like some dissent on the sub. It's not like there's a bunch of arguing going on, people being like, hey man, that's not cool. Um, you know, there's no split. All of the people in the replies don't disagree with this post and it has almost 300 upvotes. Everyone's on board here at the H3 subreddit. r slash H3 H3, flag down your enemies. If someone was crazy enough to do this, what would they have to do? Just pick a Keemstar video and flag it? Yeah, if someone, and I'm not saying it would be me, wanted to report his videos, they could hypothetically click on the three dots below his video and report it for inappropriate sexual content. Yeah, the person who wrote this is actually like a piece of shit. Fuck you. And these are not unique posts. Uh, there is post after post on this sub with hundreds of upvotes with people encouraging flagging down of drama alert content. And Keem is not the only sort of enemy of Ethan Klein that his fans are trying to go after. Trisha Paytas is a victim of this as well. Let's all just report the video for spam. These people don't care about freedom of speech or your ability to voice your own opinion. Uh, they just want you to be destroyed because you don't like Ethan Klein. They want you to be wiped off the face of the fucking earth. I'm so fed up. I think we should mass report her. 
That would be funny. You can report Trisha's account for her abuse of Jason, Moses, and now Ethan. Abuse? Really? That's the word you're going to use? Abuse? I I feel like that's being used a little, a little liberally here, perhaps. You can report her for abuse on Twitter.com. Really? Fucking unreal. It's time to stop. Please report and dislike Trisha's new video. Nick ends his Twitter thread by saying that, you know, all of these posts were screenshotted the day that he made the thread, um, so it's not like they're super old. You know, he collected them, he got them together, he posted them. Um, and this is just kind of, you know, standard fare on the H3 sub. You get your memes about Ethan, you get your podcast clips, and, you know, on the side, you get a little bit of uh, unmoderated brigading and trying to destroy people's lives. <laughs> you, you get to delete their social media accounts. Ironically, in these people's effort to stop targeted harassment, they seem to be the only group in the equation that is actually engaging in targeted harassment because they're all like coming together under this one thread to defend their daddy Ethan. I mean, honestly, you know, I thought in the replies there would be some dissent. I, there, I thought there would be some discussion about it. People being like, hey man, not cool. You know, Ethan wouldn't stand for that. Um, that's not what he's into. You know, freedom of speech is important. We shouldn't try to just report people. If they have bad ideas, we should argue with them. We should disagree with them, but we don't have to destroy their careers, you know, just because we disagree with them. Not, not even, but that's obviously not even in the equation, not even on the table anymore. Especially after all that embarrassing stuff Keemstar pulled when he reported Ethan's stream, I thought people would be kind of above that because, you know, that was a point when I had to be like, Keemstar, what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? You're you're being a spaz. You shouldn't be reporting shit like this. I get that Ethan does it, but I, I guess I'm just not ready to play by his rules yet. There's no principles, no morals, no guidelines. Uh, this is all just trying to destroy your enemies whatever way you can. In this case, it's mass reporting people. I guess as someone who used to see Ethan as, you know, sort of a, a champion of free speech and a guy who cared about protecting the rights of creators and stopping them from being silenced, it's kind of sad to see so many of his fans okay with this kind of thing going on. Maybe I'm being naive here. I know it's been a long time since he was that kind of dude, but I'm still pretty disappointed. Hopefully he sees this stuff and steps in at some point if enough people bring it to his attention because the current state of this subreddit is just unacceptable and I'd like to think that if he saw this kind of stuff going on, he would probably want to put a stop to it. It's not okay and the mods on this sub are completely supportive of this blatant brigading, which is wrong. Fuck these people. Reporting Trisha's TikTok account as well as the videos she's making. She keeps talking about how Ethan is a bully, ironically, and saying the most aggressive shit about his mom. Called her a bitch too. Yeah, I guess that's that's like a, a perfect way to encapsulate modern day kind of uh, internet attitudes. No bad words, no being mean. No calling someone a bitch. You call someone a bitch, you get your account deleted. Mass report. Yeah, so just disappointing to see. Hopefully it gets taken care of soon. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. This topic kind of sucks to talk about, but I feel like it's worth bringing attention to. And by the way, I don't want any of you guys to ever report shit about me or, or people being mean to me. You know, just let it happen. Um, that's that's part of the internet. People need to be able to say what they want. Uh, you can disagree with them. You can argue with them. But, I, you know, I, I'd, I'd really rather you not go out of your way to, like, try and get them flagged down. Because that's just wrong. I don't think anyone would think that I'd want that to happen because I've always maintained that, you know, reporting shit and running to YouTube or Twitter or, you know, these big tech conglomerates to to, you know, complain about people being mean to you is wrong. I've always maintained that that's a bad thing to do. Um, but just to clarify, don't report people unless they're like a pedophile or something, I guess. I hope Ethan steps in and deals with this issue at some point um, because his Reddit is a cancerous cesspit right now and it needs to be, it needs to be cleaned up a bit in my opinion. Leave a like if you liked the video, leave a dislike if you disliked it, and be sure to leave your thoughts on the H3 subreddit in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.